All right, this is, might be one of the most important lessons I give you, so pay close attention. Um, I'm going to draw some pictures here. I'll do the best I can with my limited um, artistic ability. What I did here is I created a graph for you. To, I think this is a good visual representation of this. This line represents your your income over time. So the income is the y-axis. So as you can see, over time, the more skills and abilities that you make in your your profession in your career that generally your income goes up over time all right and so here here's kind of the mistake that a lot of Americans make is that they they generally don't save Americans have a very very low saving rate of you know generally it's around one two percent if that so what I'm asking you to do is I'm asking you to save 15 percent of your income so if you save 15 percent of your income um, this line is is basically going to represent your spending line. So your spending line should be 15% lower than your income. And so in that in that 85%, obviously taxes are going to be included, which you learned about, um, you know, healthcare costs, other types of things. Um, but basically, I want your line to always have a difference about right there. So as your income goes up you keep saving and you adjust your income or your savings roughly at the same percentage of and there you go so this difference right here is is your savings and this money will add up over time dramatically um, so as your income goes up imagine when you know some of you guys you're talking about becoming doctors or you know um, stuff like that and a lot of people think well if I'm a doctor I make a lot of money I don't have to worry about money um, that's actually a false statement a lot of doctors people that make a lot of money they're the ones that have a lot of money issues because they feel like since they make a lot they could spend a lot and sometimes um, any small um, change in their life um, loss of job something goes down they run into trouble very quickly because they've created very very high um, expenditures so if I were to label these two lines, this line is my income line, the top one, and then the bottom one is my um, my spending line. We'll call it the um, expenditure. So we'll just put expenses, we'll call it. Okay, so that's kind of what we want. Um, we want that to look like that would be the goal. Um, obviously, probably an even better goal is to have your line look like this. Let me kind of get my line to look. As my income goes up, my I don't raise my expenses as high as my raises are. So now this looks much better. So now, as you can see, as my income goes up, I, I don't raise my expenses at the same slope that my income goes up this this would be the ideal for everyone if you could achieve this but it's it's hard practically when people when they start making more income they they buy bigger homes they buy more clothes they buy more jewelry they get into that and so therefore that that line comes up but if you could get used to a standard of living that you're comfortable with as your income goes up you're now able to save even more than the 15 percent um so that's just food for thought but i want to show you kind of what really goes on in the US and this is what people who don't have a financial education do as the war as their um, income goes up the, their line kinda some years their expense line they will spend more in a year than they make and then they're like oh no that was bad that was bad couple of years there we, we need to get back on track Oop, my line kinda ended there um, hold on let me start that over again I got I got two click happy it's a lot better when I'm live and in person to just draw this in five seconds so their line starts doing this and so over time it kind of wraps around and then they get to this point and they're like oh my gosh we haven't saved we need to really really save more and then so now they go into defensive mode to get ready for retirement and then they live the rest of their life, you know, in fear that 
that they're going to run out of money because they spent the majority of their life kind of in this pattern. So this is a great visual. This is this is a five minute. This is a million dollar video for some of you guys because if you could have your line looking like what I showed you before. So if you could have your line looking like this, if we kind of focus on this one, um, this is this is this would be amazing if you could do that. Now to save fifteen percent, that is a lot of money for a lot of people because you know they're like, well, I can, I want everything now. But if you if you could kind of adjust your lifestyle when you're young, so remember I said in the asset video, um, try not to fill your young life with liabilities. Fill it with assets. Fill it with things that go up in value, because eventually those buckets are generating even more income for you, and that income line will you're going to have the this is going to be what you make. But imagine if we then do this, and I just thought thought of doing this. Imagine once those buckets start earning you income, and now your income line, you're now making more money off of these investments, and now your income line looks like this. So someone asked me, do I have to invest in stocks and bonds and other types of things? Well, the answer to that would be, well, yeah, you don't have to. Then your, your line will look like this, and if you're a good little saver, um, you'll be fine. Absolutely. If you could save 15% of your income, absolutely. You, you might not have to get wrapped up into all those um, types of things. However, if you do that and you save, you could see the dramatic difference there. Plus, if we could live within um, a lower expense range, then basically we are in control of money. Money is not controlling us. Um, and so these are some basic concepts you could think about. Um, and then apply to your financial plan when the time comes. If you have any questions on this, um, you know, shoot me an email, and we, could t we you know, I could, I could give you a little more feedback on that. All right. Um, I guess you'll just have to, um, you know, really, there's no assignment here. It's, it's basically like, hey, this is something you could do. It is out there, and when you get older, um, hopefully you remember this video, um, and maybe it'll still be floating around on YouTube, and you can always replay it. All right. Thanks, guys.